Hi, everybody. Welcome to Paper Wishes Weekly Webisodes. I'm Lene Gehrig, and today from our friends at We Are Memory Keepers, we have the envelope tear templates. And together, you guys, you can take these templates and make envelopes that are so beautiful that match your cards, and you can make custom size envelopes for those cards with tricky sizes. We have so much to show you, and at the end of the video, I'm gonna tell you how I'm gonna send you a whole bunch of really pretty decorative envelopes. So come back and play with us. So let's take a look at all the different envelope sizes. You're getting seven different template sets, okay? So each set has two pieces, all right? And you get seven different sizes of envelopes. And then you also get these great little designs so that you can put little swirls and things on the corners of your envelopes. And there's even a lettering template as well. And it hooks all together with this little ring so you can keep everything together for easy storage. So let's go over the sizes so you guys know what you're getting. First of all, all of these pieces are connected with or covered with plastic coating. So if you see little pieces that look like they're pulling up, that's just the plastic coating that you can take off so they keep them from getting all scratched up. This first one I have here is an A2 size. So it's envelope size is four is five and three quarters by four and three eighths. The card size that it fits is five and a half by four and a quarter. And this, of course, is the center part. This would be the size that your card is, and there's something to fold around this. So I'm gonna show you how this works, but let's go through the sizes because we wanna make sure you know what you're getting. All right, this is A6, and the envelope size is four and three quarters by six and a half. The card size, which would be this piece, is four and a half by six and a quarter. All right, and then this one right here, whoops, is an A7. So the envelope size is five and a half, five and a quarter by seven and a quarter, and this is a five by seven card. So this is the one that fits if you uh, buy your blank cards from um, Paper Wishes or you're making the same card size that we use. We generally use a six and a half by five, and this is the size of the envelopes that we use. All right. And this is a slim line. So the envelope size is nine and a half by four and a quarter, and the card size is eight and a half by three and a half. Okay. And then this one right here is a five and three quarter inch square. So the env envelope size is five and three quarters by five and three quarters, and the card size is five and a half by five and a half. And then we also have a six by six, but this is actually a six and a half, sorry. It's a six and a half by six and a half inch square envelope. And the card size is six and a quarter by six and a quarter. That's the card size. And finally, we have an A9 envelope and that card size is five and three quarters by eight and three quarters. And the card size is five and a half by eight and a half. All right, whew, we got through all of that. All right, so for this one right here, as I told you, I used the um, envelope that was for five by a seven, and I just used, for this one, Magnolia Blossoms cardstock. This card was actually made on a webisode from April 13th, 2023, so if you wanna take a look on how to make this card, you can review that webisode. But um, yeah, I went ahead and I pulled this from our archives and I wanted to make a coordinating envelope. So you can see the inside because it is double-sided cardstock. It has that beautiful pattern on the inside. Turn it over, nice place to write. Now all of these little grids that are on here that go with the cards, they just lay right over your card and then they allow you to just use a pencil to outline this area and then you have a writing guide and then when you're done you erase that. So that's a really nice little feature too. So yeah, this one is nice because it is cardstock though, it's gonna weigh a little bit more. So if you're going to use cardstock for um, making your envelopes, I would caution you to maybe hand deliver these because we don't want you to have extra postage. All right. Let's take a look at this one. So this one, you guys, is the Slimline card, and Slimline envelope, and this one I used some plaid paper that is by the sheet. And I should mention that on our money saver for this envelope template set, I went ahead and picked out three different patterns of what we call, you know, by the sheet or bulk paper. And Paulette is gonna put that in 
at a special price. You're gonna get a pack of 15 each of these, okay? That's a lot of envelopes and a lot of liners. And you get a pack each of these and she's giving you a special price of $2 a pack. So that's the pricing when it's bundled in with the envelope. That's a really great deal and you'll be getting a lot of paper. And it's a perfect weight for mailing. All right, so for this card, I used that beautiful purple plaid and I tore the edges of this as the enveloper suggests. Um, this one, I actually traced it and cut it out so the edges are really smooth. I really like that little tear look on it. And the reason they have you tear it is because it saves you a step. You don't have to outline it with a pencil or anything and no cutting. You're just tearing it and it's very quick. I'm gonna show you how to do that. Um, I embellished it with some Dazzle stickers and I used this little template right here and added some little lines and diamonds on it right here using these little corner pieces. And the dazzles that I used are these, um, this is the Rose Dazzle Collection. There's more in here other than roses. There's leaves and things like that. But it's a great collection with all of these pieces here. And they're really nice you, um, for adding dazzle stickers to decorate your envelopes. They do not come out in mailing. And I just like to use a little pokey tool and I just lift them up like this, so outline stickers. Just pull them very carefully this and then you can even just place them right here above your little address and it just jazzes up those envelopes so there's another one this is a six by six this is using the um, pink paper that we have in our oops money saver and this one I lined with a beautiful um, wildflower paper that's also in the collection. I'll show you how to do the outlining as well. And I decorate it with some of those border dazzles that are included with the dazzle collection. Also very easy. And then I wanted to show you, you guys, this one I just made out of a grocery sack. So this one, I just took the, this one of the smaller templates, ripped open a grocery sack, and then went ahead and just tore, did my tearing. You can see that little torn edge. And then I just used the edges of the templates like this to just do a little bit of outlining on the front and back right here. Went ahead and lined it. You can see right there the inside part of the print. Well, that was the outside of the grocery sack where it has the store name on it. But you know what? That gets glued shut, so nobody's gonna notice that. And then I used butterfly stickers to decorate right here, going down my envelope. And that texture is so cool. And technically, you guys, what do we pay a nickel for uh, paper sacks? At least we do in Oregon. Um, and uh, yeah, that was just a great way. You can also use newspaper, you could use magazines, and you can use gift wrap to match your packages when you do that. So definitely check that out. All right, I found my template. So this is a five by seven card size. Whoops, right here. So anything sort of below that five by seven will fit in here. I wanted to show you this comes with, um, this is the packaging for the templates and it shows you step by step right here um, how to do this. And then there's also step by step on how to decorate the outside of it and then how to do your liner, okay? So this is what I'm going to be using to show you how to do this. So I'm gonna take my paper, okay? And we're gonna put it just like this. Now you can go down here into the printing and stuff because that's gonna be on the inside of your envelope as long as it's not at the flap part. So for example, I don't think I would put it like that because that's the flap, but it can actually be down inside of your envelope. That's no problem, but there's plenty of space here. All right, so now I'm just gonna be doing the tearing technique, all right? So I'm just gonna hold on to my template just like this, okay? And then you just start it like this, kind of go around the corner, and you're just going to start tearing. You're going to tear all the way around. Just make sure that when you move it, you realign it. There we go. All right. Did a little over tear, but that's okay. As you can see, I'm doing 
little tears. There we go. All right. This is the top of the envelope, all right? And then you're gonna take the coordinating piece. Here we go, I lost it for a second. You're gonna place that right in the center there. You're gonna hold that down and then you're going to lift this part up. And you're going to move it away. And then you're gonna just take this and you're going to fold around that. And you're gonna fold this part up. And then you're going to fold this part down. See how easy this is for your envelope? All right, and then I found it's nice to take your bone folder and just go around this to make sure you have a nice fold. All right, then you're gonna take this part out and then you're just going to take, now you could use glue stick, you can use tape, or you can use Cosmic Shimmer Glue, which is what I'm going to use. And you're just going to put a line of glue right here. We all kind of know how an envelope works, so where to put that glue, right there. And now we're gonna make a liner to go on the inside of it. I'm gonna use this wildflower paper because I think it's so pretty. All right, I'm gonna turn this over and then you're going to take back your template. And do you see it says right here, line? And I'm just following the instructions right here. You're just gonna take that line and you're gonna put it right on the center of your paper, right? It's right there. Because this is the part that we're focused on, right here. All right, and I've got that right there with the line. And then what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and I think for this one, I'm gonna trace it so you know how to do a tracing one, okay? So we're gonna put this right here. You can tear it out also, but I wanna show you how easy this is when you're tracing, just like that, okay? If you want to, you can just do little trace lines right here just so you can have direction, all right? And then you're gonna take your scissors and we're gonna cut this out. Very, very little cutting for the liner. And as I said, if you don't like the tearing method, just trace along the er areas that you would normally tear on the other situation. All right, now we're gonna take this and we're gonna just use it as a straight edge. And I'm putting it along this line right here. Taking my pencil. I do the same thing on the other side. And I'm just cutting it down to fit the shape of the envelope. This is all on the instructions that are included. See how that's looking right there? See how that's looking right there? <laughs> all right, now we're gonna take this and we're just gonna cut off this excess pieces. And this is our liner. All right. Then I like to go ahead and pre-fold this line. And I know I'm folding it in the wrong direction, but I do that so I can see the right direction better. Pre-fold that, test it out. Oops, upside down, Lene. Um, Test it out, see if it's gonna fit. Now a liner one should fit just smaller, so we can zoom in on this. So you're gonna see, it's kind of hard to see because it's white on white, but there should be a little, plain white border around the edge of it. All right, now what I'm gonna do is, I found putting glue on the whole thing and shoving it in was too tricky for me. Okay, so I just took my glue, and I'm just gonna kinda go like this. Put a squirt across the bottom part. Okay, and realign that. And the glue I put is right about there. And then you're just gonna take a little bit right there, just a little bit across there. This little piece right here is just driving me nuts. I'm just gonna cut it off. All right, and then we're just gonna refold that.
All right, that's all there is to it. And you have your beautiful envelope, perfect for your card, whatever size you want, and it's good to go. So you guys, for our little giveaway that we like to do, um, I'm gonna choose one lucky winner, and all you have to do is be a subscriber, like and comment, and that puts you into the running, and we will choose one lucky winner, and I'm gonna send you all of these little decorated envelopes, okay? I'll decorate this one too. And you'll get this whole collection of envelopes that you can use for your card making. So definitely like, comment, and subscribe on our YouTube channel, all right? And then you will be entered in to win that. We're really trying to get our numbers up for our comments and our likes and our subscribers. And it's been working great, you guys. You've really been having a great time participating in our giveaway that we do on our Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday videos. Before we go, I wanted to remind you or tell you, I always try to find things that are in our warehouse that um, I haven't seen because we have so many things on our website. And today I came across the Fab File Extra Large 12 by 12 Paper Organizer. I've seen organizers before and I love this one because it has the dividers in it and it has the little tabs and it would go great with all that paper that you're gonna get when you order our money saver for this enveloper and the envelope pieces would fit in here as well. So you could have all of your envelope making supplies right here together in this product. I will go ahead and link this down below the video in the description box with all of our other supplies if you're interested in this. I am particularly interested in organization products because my studio at home is just a wreck so if you have an organization issue <laughs> check that out so thanks so much for joining me today you guys I had a blast using this great envelope template system it's really a nice collection and really is a problem solver if you like to make your own card bases and your sourcing envelopes thanks for joining me today you guys will see you next time